Hey everybody, Stephanie D. Sanders here with an interview with Stephanie. We are back once again talking to fitness and nutrition expert David Hernandez, all the way from Hollywood, California, y'all. Hey, David. Hey, Stephanie. Always a joy to see you and to be here with you. Thank you for having me. You are very welcome. And you know, we're going to be coming back here periodically to give you guys some fitness and health tips to help you with fitness, to help you with your nutrition, because David is our expert, okay? I know some stuff, but I don't know it all, honey. So that's why I decided to bring somebody in who can help us all with this stuff like this. I was talking to David, and uh, we did an interview a while ago, and I had a couple of topics on that interview, but then people wanted us to kind of break it down so they can really get the specifics of a couple of topics that I had in that interview. And one of those topics was summertime, getting your body together for your swimsuits and all that good stuff. So, you know, when you go out and you have a good time and you want to wear sundresses or your swimwear or whatnot, we were talking to David about that. Now, I know we're kind of in the middle of summertime uh, right now, but this is the information that pretty much year round, especially after talking to David a little earlier. David, what, what would you say to people who are, we're in the middle of summertime and they still want to kind of get that little summertime body together. Yeah. But then also something that can help them to keep moving forth of their own. What can they That's do? Right. What can they still do? Look, summer is great. At any time in the summer, can you still, you can still do something to better your physique, but more importantly, to better your health. Yes. Right. Looking good is, is a good thing. It's awesome, but there's nothing better than being healthy. Right. right. So in this time where we're, we're in summer, right. People still want to wrap up this with the bang. They want right. to go in to have those perfect Instagram photos, right. To right. have that perfect physique the to post on their social. For the, for the <laughs> before the sweats come out and the big the jackets. And you can't tell, you can't tell who's in shape, who's That's out of right. shape, who's got a little punch. That's yeah, right. I wear a big sweater sometimes. I don't know. I just like the whole big thing. But anyway. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look, we can still do something. And right now is a perfect time for that because it, it, the outdoors are calling yes. our name. Yes. Right. So it's a perfect time to utilize the weather, to utilize mm -hmm. the season, to utilize all that stuff for your favor especially for all the northerners right all those people that live in chicago in michigan and wisconsin in new york god bless your soul i don't yes. know how you do it but right now is the perfect time to take advantage of this season to start taking action it's all about taking action stephanie I think we look for, we spend too much time analyzing what we have to do or what we would like to do or what we wish we should do, mm -hmm. that that stops us from taking action. Yes. Right. Yes. And yes. if what you're doing today is giving you a certain result for those that are working out, that those that are doing something physically to better themselves and you want to get to a different level before the end of the year, then we got to up that, right? Or before the summer ends, mm -hmm. that means how can you stretch the bar a little bit higher? Yes. How can you push yourself a little bit more, right? right. How can you get 1% better today for your tomorrow, right? right? How can you strive yourself a little bit more so that possibly in doing that, we can get rid of a little bit more of the, that little lingering fat on there, right? Eliminate some water retention cool. and then get you so that you're looking popping before the summer ends, right? right? And so it's really about what am I doing and what am I not doing that I should be doing to get me to that place? So it's really about consistency. If today you find yourself that you are not being as consistent as you'd like, maybe you're going to the gym. Okay. You have, you feel you, you know, you have an okay, decent look. You, you, you're comfortable with the way you look, but you want more. Well, ask yourself, are you being consistent? Am I being consistent with what I'm doing? And if you're not, let's go back to consistency because that's going to compound. And then that will bring a breakthrough in you so that you can end the summer looking the way you would like to end. But then you carry that on into the winter. Yes. That's the most important yes. thing. Yes. Right? Yes. Right yes. now yes. is the perfect time to start taking care of yourself. See, and I think it doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter whether it's 
And I, and I had to grasp that when he said it earlier. It doesn't matter whether it's summertime, right. fall, spring, winter, whatever. Anytime, like he's anytime is a good time to start getting it together. And yes, yes. people are scared at times when you, you know, you see folks going to the gym and they think it might be uh, just too astronomical, something for them to deal with or whatnot. But the thing, the thing I think about is, and, and even in, in, in other aspects of life is, you have to start somewhere. That's right. You have to start somewhere. That's not yes. to say you're going to go in there and run five, six, seven, eight miles in a day. No, if that's right. not where, where you're at at the time, you have to start somewhere. We had talked about it previously about walking. Um, that's right. Perfect time to walk. Summertime, my perfect. gosh, my God. Great. You get out there in that sun and that sun just invigorates you. You know, yeah. you get to walk in. You go to the lake, you see the ducks, you see the boats. I mean, you, you have to find something to uh, encourage yourself. You know, I use music. I use motivational type um, uh, audios to listen to during that time when I am working out. You know, I start off slow and then I kind of build it up. That's so you right. might want to try something like that. Other, other things yeah. that they can try, David, to get inspired to just start? Look, the biggest inspiration is life. Do you want to live? If you do, what type of life do you want to live, right? Because I think more than ever, health needs to be the number one priority in our life. It should always be, but more so now. Look at what happened, right, in the world and what's been happening, right, with things that are out of our control, right, with the pandemic and with COVID and with all of these things that have just gone out of our control. Yes, completely. More out. than ever, yeah. we need to take our health serious. Yeah. yeah. Our biggest motivation should be living. While there's some might say, well, I don't have a reason for living. I beg to differ, mm. right? Because if you're still alive, yep. I beg to differ. Yeah. There's still something there's inside still of you that is something. striving to want to live, yes. right? There's, that there's is, still that is God here. Wants you to do. There's still something inside of you that is, yes. that is screaming to want to live for. Yes. So life, what type of life do you want to live? If you don't have the life that you have right now, well, let's change that. You can yes. change that. Yes. And it yes. starts by taking care of yourself, mm -hmm. starting with yourself, mm -hmm. starting with being truthful and honest with you. Am I really being and doing the things I should be doing to live the life that I am? My health, is my health where it should be? Am I unhealthy? Am I overweight? Do I have health risks? Do I have diabetes? Do I have high blood pressure? Do I have this? Do I have that? What are you gonna wait for? For a pandemic right. to hit and then get hit with that and now you're fighting for your life? Right. I think it's better to do something now instead of trying to fight when you're sick because that's your weakest time and you can't fight and the highest obesity levels that we have ever seen in today's country are right now the highest obesity that we have seen in kids we say this every year it seems like it well because no, every year it keeps on growing that is it true. keeps on increasing right the time now that people have inside their homes is astronomical sedentary lifestyles right. are happening at the rapid pace so what are we going to do? Mm -hmm. We need to take our health serious. And That's just true. because you don't want to go to the gym and just because you don't have the money for a gym and just doesn't mean you can't take care of your health. Mm -hmm. There's walking, there's things mm -hmm. you can play, do with your kids. You can go on hikes, mm -hmm. right? What foods are you putting in? Whatever's going inside your mouth is being reflected on your exterior. Right, so right, right, right. if we're not putting in the good amounts of food, the foods that know that, that we need to start living a better life, don't expect your life to change. Don't expect your health to get any better. It's about making the conscious choice mm -hmm. of wanting to live a better life. And now getting a professional like myself, if you're in a place where you know you can't do this by yourself, right. you're discouraged, yeah. you've tried things yeah. and failed. Look at your pattern. What is your pattern? Has it been a pattern of I've tried and then I fail? I try and then I fail. I get some results and then I lose mm -hmm. them all and I gain all the weight back. Stop trying to do this on your own. That's yeah. what I'm here for as a yeah. professional to coach you, guide you, and to love you more or love you, love you to the place where you're going to fight for your life. Yeah, fight for yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because even with Dave, um, because he's going to give you his information too, because he's a trainer and he can train you 
online baby he online baby virtually he can do that for you right now and it's not to say that you will always need a trainer forever um, because you do you might go in cycles you might find right. that you know at different times and different points of the year you might need a trainer or whatever like that you might need you might need it for a couple of years you know it's yeah. just up to you and whatever your situation is but if you need that little bit of uh, you know contact david because he can get you started he can get you going he can uplift you keep you motivated give you somebody to be accountable to that's real important at times that's right because sometimes you may not have that at home and like he was saying get your kids if you have kids you guys go out there let them ride the bicycle let them walk with you take the dog take the baby in the stroller walk through the neighborhood you know just get out there and be active just to get started because it is really true that you don't want to you don't want to start fighting for your health and your life on the on the other side of a health issue as opposed to trying to be more preventative up that's front right. that's it's not to say we won't have some issues at times here and there but at least you know you you really have much more of a fighting chance yep. once you've gotten yourself in a healthier state like working with dave and then working on your own as well too when, when you're not with him so that when something like that might occur even if it's just a little bit you know you're, you're in a healthier place to be able to fight it combat it bring it down bring the levels yeah. down um, eliminate yeah. it so yeah. david I thank you so much for for that and then we were also talking about COVID how you were talking about how COVID had really made people more sedentary and at home now that's a choice being inside and not doing anything just because of COVID because I remember right. when the gym closed and I was right. distraught you mean mm -hmm. I was just mm -hmm. I was like what 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 am I gonna do what <laughs> I'm not used yeah. to the gym being closed closed so then i had to figure out other things be creative pinterest has a lot of stuff plug yep. pinterest plug youtube has a lot of different things that you can do outside of getting training from david get the training from david the right way you know and then in the other times when you're not with him you can get other little things to help you out at home get you some yoga mats some weights and things like that at home to, to help you out watch videos it's a plethora of things you can do but you got to start. It's super, super important to go ahead and get started, especially with so many people working from home now. Right. Would you say, David? I mean, come on. 100%. 100%. And it's really about understanding that if you don't take care of your health, if you don't do something for yourself, you can't be your best, right? You can't be the best parent. You can't be the best daughter. You can't be the best son you can't be the best professional you can't you just can't give your best if you're not at your best right yeah, yeah, and it, yeah. health and being healthy it prevents us from certain things look during this pandemic not everyone it ain't not the case for everyone but majority of the people that you know unfortunately um, died and passed away were unhealthy or overweight right i mean i have a dear story in my family my cousin passed away he was over 300 pounds. He got hit with COVID. Uh, the next day he got a heart attack and then he died halfway through the morning, right? Wow. So it's real. It's yeah. real. And it's, it's about so understanding good. that I can do something about it right now, wherever I'm out, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And those that are struggling sometimes have to understand that it's not just about exercising and nutrition. Mm -hmm. Those things are important, but there's also another aspect that deals with the deeper meaning of why you are making the choices that you are making right. that are getting you to the result. Right. Being right. overweight, being lazy, um, being procrastinating, all these things are not problems. They are not the problem. They are the result of the things that you have been doing that have gotten you where you're at today. Mm -hmm. So it's about understanding that we need to go to this deeper place, which is the inner side of us, right? The mindset side, the identity side, the emotional side of things, because more often than not, and I would honestly say always, emotional trauma is a direct, it has a direct correlation with emotional eating, being overweight, having eating disorders, or not loving yourself. Right. Mm -hmm. So it's about this third component that most trainers and most um, programs out there don't touch. Mm -hmm. 
and causes people to fall off the bandwagon and just end up going backwards and quitting outright. So yeah. yes, it's good. We need it. We, we should be going outside. We should be doing all these things, but sometimes we need to take a deeper look inside to really pinpoint the root of the cause that has you in the place of where you're at. Yeah, yeah, and, and even with that, um, if that is the case for anybody out there, um, certainly check it out, find out where you can get you a little bit of counseling or something like that, because they're doing all of those things virtually. Pretty much right. most people have been doing them virtually. So if that's the case, hey, check it out with your, with your job or in your community if there's, a, if there's a counseling service. Because a lot of times it may be just simply where you need to just sit down and talk to someone about something to get a listening ear outside of yourself. You know, you're talking to yourself or whatnot. But just a listening ear outside of that to maybe help you to brainstorm on some things or, or kind of balance things out and let you hear yourself uh, back and, and what you may be thinking and help you think yourself out of certain situations so that's right. just another thing of trying to to make this whole thing work you know not just the physical not just the food but then the uh, mental state as well you know so but i just want to thank you so much dave because that is so true summertime is here summertime is almost gone yeah. <laughs> but it is never a perfect time to start you just simply have to start that's so right. if you guys right. would like to talk to David and see about him working with you virtually and get you going with a program as your personal trainer, David, please let the people know where they can reach out to you and get some help. I would love that. And that's exactly what my program's all about, right? We touch on these three elements, the fitness, the, the nutrition side, and that emotional mindset component mm. that brings this all together, right? It's a three-tier system that I utilize that my company is founded on and based on. And that's how we are able to better people's lives and change them and get them to being thriving, fit, strong, healthy, mind, body, soul, and spiritually. And that's our our um Martin, huh? our commitment right <laughs> your health is our purpose wow. right so that's what we strive for and you can definitely reach out to me in all the social media platforms my handle is at dave k hernandez that's d-a-v-e k as in kite h-e-r-n-a-n-d-e-z and then you can also reach me on my website www.bodybypurpose.com it's bodybypurpose.com or you can also just shoot me a message and uh, I will get back in touch with you with any questions that you might have. All right. Thank you so much, David, for hanging out with us. Again, I'm Stephanie D. Sanders, and this is an interview with Stephanie. You can reach me on social media. Type Stephanie D. Sanders in Google. <laughs> Thanks for having me, Stephanie. <laughs> Praise God. When they type your name in, or you're at the top. Okay. That's right. Stephanie D. Sanders. Just reach out to me. Let me know what's on your mind. If there's a topic, fitness and nutrition wise, that you want us to discuss here on this segment uh, with David, do that. Let me know. Let him know, and we'll discuss it. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye bye. See